What's going on everybody? I'm Adam. Thanks for stopping by and hanging out for a little bit today. So I've got a little something different, um, you know, a little change of pace. So we're going back to old school Radio Shack RC. So this is something that I found in my previous searches and stuff. And, you know, just for you guys that are tired of hearing about Radio Shack RC, I've kind of eased up on searching for stuff. Um, I've got some safe searches that, you know, I've got alerts set on, so if something cool pops up, I'll know about it, but other than that, I've kind of eased off of the, the Radio Shack bandwagon, um, starting to run out of room to put them. <laughs> so, what I got was, I was able to find another new inbox kit. Now, this is one of their older kits, and I'll put up some stuff here of when it came out, but this is the Hacksaw, it's on one of the 9.6 AA battery packs. Um, you know, so this is a little bit more modern. It's probably sometime in the 2000s, I believe, when this came out. But we'll just take it out of the box, and I'll show you around the truck, and then we're going to take it out for a run. So here is the truck. Um, it's kind of a cool-looking truck. It's something like a... Sport, racer, heavy duty, full wheel drive, you know, imagination, conglomeration. <laughs> you know, they kind of put everything they could. You've got this giant sport wing, you've got the ginormous, you know, roll bar back rack thing, you've got your 63 lights on the top that aren't lights. Um, it's got cool, like, oakly mirrored uh, windshield and side windows. Um, yeah, it's, it's a really cool looking car. It does look like it has some front LEDs. Um, no rear LEDs, but it does look like it has front LED lights. So it is a four wheel drive truck. So basically you have your battery compartment down here. Above that you have all your radio bits. And in the back you have the motor, which is driving the rear transmission, which then runs a drive shaft through the center up to the front end. Um, I am expecting this not to be terribly fast. Um, that is your full suspension travel. Let's, let's get some flex. Yep, that's your full flex right there. So, yes, this is a toy. 110% a toy. Um, you have a ginormous, you know, country mile wide bumper up here to prevent you from breaking the front end, hopefully. But, you know, overall, it screams, you know, late 90s, early 2000s obnoxiousness. Um, the radio that it comes with has the cool you know, walkie-talkie weeble wobble. So, you know, you don't screw your radio up. It's one of the, you know, generic, always on, you know, standard up, down, left, right, no trim. The only trim is the little dial up front to, you know, adjust your steering as you're driving. But, you know, other than that, that's you know, the basics of the basics. It is just a toy truck. But, you know, for the price I paid for it, it was a great deal. So this truck originally in a Radio Shack you would have walked in and paid $59.99 plus tax. Um, you know, fast forward 20 years later, and I got it off of eBay for 38 bucks. It was $26 with $12 shipping and handling. So I don't think that's a bad deal. You know, somebody kept this in great, perfect condition for all those years for me, and I got a heck of a discount. <laughs> All right, guys, enough talking. I'm going to get some batteries put in all this, and then uh, we're going to take it outside and see how awesome the Hexall really is.
Okay guys, I'm about to apologize for putting that much RC excitement into one video. <laughs> this thing was so slow. Um, the initial run part was low gear. And it does decent in the grass and low gear. You can tell once the grass starts getting a little bit taller, it starts bogging down a little bit. But it is silly slow. So put it in high gear and it is struggling. <laughs> um, yeah, the little motor in here just doesn't have the guts it needs to you know, keep it going. Uh, it's got plenty of power. It's on 9.6 volt uh, nickel metal hydride pack, which one of the things I found um, when putting the pack in, they actually give you a double A tray so you can load up double A batteries and plug this right in to the battery compartment and run it off double A's or you can run it off the rechargeable pack. So that was kind of cool. Um, so I figured there was no harm in taking it out to the track because I didn't think it was going to be fast enough at all to cause any damage. And I was right. Um, you know, the first lap was actually on high gear and, you know, it did okay. Um, it barely got over the <laughs> Elf Mountain jump, but overall it did okay. Um, there is a severe delay in steering. Uh, you turn the stick, and then the wheels turn. And then you turn the stick, and the wheels turn. Um, it is very, very slow. And uh, proportional, this is not. Uh, both of these are on-off selectors. It's uh, go or no go, and back and no back, and so on. But, you know, it was a kid's toy. I'm not reviewing it as a hobby great thing. This is just a cool little blast from the past from a Radio Shack, you know, kind of collector. Um, looks great. Um, I think it's actually built fairly tough. And with this front bumper and at that slow speed, I don't think you'd ever actually break anything on the front end unless you just dropped it. Um, and, you know, overall, it probably would hold up for a fairly long time. You know, the drivetrain looks beefy enough to where it's not going to break stuff in the drivetrain. And with the open diffs, you really can't do much to get yourself in trouble. Something's going to start spinning. Um, which was the problem in low gear when we took it around the track. One, it took forever. And two, um, as soon as it started climbing the face of the jump on either side... You know, the tires just, one of the tires up front and one of the tires up in the back started digging in and it never did make it over Elf Mountain in low gear. But didn't buy it to be a performer, didn't buy it to be a race truck. I bought it to be part of the collection and something cool to share with you guys on YouTube. You know, I'm sure a lot of you guys had something similar to this or kids had something similar to this. You know, for me, this one kind of crosses over you know, the, the borderline of when I was looking at RCs at Radio Shacks, at Radio Shack, and then, you know, when my daughter started showing interest into them. But overall, it's it's a great little piece to add to the collection. I'm happy to have it. You know, will I run it very often? No. <laughs> it's, it is that slow. But it looks badass. Anyway, guys, I hope you like this little trip down memory lane of Radio Shack RCs. If you got any comments, leave them down below. Love hearing from you guys and talking to you guys in the comments section. Everybody out there, you guys be happy, be healthy, be safe, and I will catch you guys on the next episode. Bye. Um.